A young father killed. Could the crash that caused it have been avoided? Good evening, everyone. I'm Shelley Kirk. Hello, I'm Brad Bird. The crash happened around 10 o'clock last night in Henderson. Eyewitness News' Sam Neff has been talking to authorities today, learning about what may have caused this. He has the story from the newsroom. Brad and Shelley, we're still working to learn the conditions of the two other people involved in this crash. But we do know 24-year-old Devin Bays has died, leaving behind a family and a lot of questions. You do separated you you uh, especially while you're there working you, it's not till later on that when you're thinking about it it begin to bother you the sheriff's office says a person driving behind devon bays bryce spurlock and julia matthews watched it all unfold and called 911. deputies on scene believe bays the driver of the jeep lost control and hit this tree on green river road number one near tillman bethel road the three are not believed to have been wearing seat belts and i'm told had to crawl out through the sunroof. Bays died this morning at St. Vincent Hospital from head injuries sustained from the crash. Well, there was a, a suspicion of alcohol involvement, so I would say that's part of the reason for uh, for the accident. It is hard to, uh, for anybody, including an officer that's been on a number of years, it, it's, it's not an easy thing to watch. A man who says Bays was like a son to him returned to the scene today fighting tears he showed me where Bays laid after the crash. That's a hell of a long way. He says the three involved had indeed been out drinking. Hey, that water hole right there, they pressed probably where they lost control at when they hit that water. The 24-year-old Bays was a father of two who loved to work with his hands from a young age and could fix anything. And while the devastation his family now faces is impossible to fix, the sheriff's office says the tragedy can serve as a lesson to all. Alcohol involvement has always been a major cause of injury accidents yeah. and it's it's important to us that we try to prevent accidents such as these now the coroner says there is no autopsy planned for bays there's a link to a gofundme page to help his family on our website tristatehomepage.com in the newsroom sam neff eyewitness news thank you sam the investigation continues on the